How's it going YouTube? Welcome back. So, busy day today. Um, as you can see, my hair looks a bit crazy, a bit overgrown, so we're gonna go get that cut. Shave it all off, gonna go bald. No, I'm only joking. Um, and today is finally the day. The day that we launch my online training programs. I can't wait to release it. It's going live today at five. It is currently five to nine. So gonna go run some errands, take you along with me, and let's go get this haircut. So the haircut is actually like an hour drive. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go do it. Alright, so an hour later we made it to the hairdressers and I'm gonna go get it. Get it. <coughs> okay, that's the haircut done. Uh, I know what you might be thinking, it's very short, but uh, I haven't styled it. It's all fluffy and it will get better once I sort it out. Anyway, uh, it's nearly lunchtime. I'm hungry, so um, I think I'm gonna go get some food because I'm like an hour and a half from where I live. Oh, no, an hour from where I live. Uh, so I'm going to go get some food um, and show you that you don't have to eat bad when you're eating out. You can just go to a supermarket and get a really healthy meal that fits your macros and that will keep you in line with your goals. So let's go find a shop thinking Morrison's oh, and a Starbucks because I'm dying for a coffee. All right, guys, so I've come. Oh, my God, my hair looks really short like this. <laughs> wow. Anyway. I've come to Morrison's uh, just because last time I came here, like it's really, really underrated. They had some really good stuff. So I'm gonna go make a healthy lunch, and then get the coffee after because it's just over the road. Um, and yeah, and show you how you can make or buy a lean, healthy meal from any store and get shredded. So let's go. All right, so we're back in the car with my little creation. I've got myself some chicken, salad, and some sweet potato wraps. And this was all like seven quid. It's pretty much like a fast food meal and you can hit in your macros and it's just the perfect little sum up. I actually really gonna enjoy this meal, probably more so than anything, and I'm still hitting my goals. Uh, I'm gonna eat this now, then go get a coffee. Only downside, you gotta build it yourself, but look at that. That was awesome, I'll make three of them. Uh, macros will be pretty decent. You know what? It's pretty goddamn good. So I'm nice and pleasantly full after that, but now I think we need some caffeination to wash it all down. So we get a Starbucks, I think we know what the order's gonna be. Literally just a grande cold brew with nothing in it. Um, sometimes I do get uh, almond milk with some hazelnut, sugar-free hazelnut syrup, but today, just cold brew with one sweetener. I'm gonna pour that in, I'm gonna drink it, and then I'm gonna drive home. Um, just released uh, the story on my Instagram about the countdown on my uh, website. So on my Instagram now, clicking on it there. And it gives us a countdown. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, working with a really good company, uh, probably heard them before, Genflow. Uh, they work with quite another few people and help them really push their brands and get them off the ground. So hopefully this is the start of something great. Um, so I'm gonna drink this cold brew. Um, it's a really nice day. I mean, for October in in uh, England, like fair play. Hope the weekend's gonna be good because me and Domi are gonna go out. But anyway. I'm going to drive home now, um, we're going to finish up some final few things and I'll probably see you when it's time to launch, I can't wait. And then we've got a big back workout tonight, so that's going to be good. Alright guys, so after a stressful couple of hours, the plans are now live. Um, go check it out, link will be in the description. Um, now I just need to give myself like 5-10 minutes. I've actually just eaten a bowl of granola, pre-workout bowl of granola. Um, alongside cereal, that is my favourite snack. Honestly, I can I can easily eat a box of granola. That's why I think the uh, ten thousand calorie challenge would be so easy. But anyway, gonna let this digest, and then I've got so much like inbuilt like stress and energy right now. I need to uh, need to train, so we've got a big back day. Domi's gonna do some legs. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. 
she's going to do some legs. So while she's like squatting yeah. or hip thrusting, I'll do some deadlifts so we can like use it together. Um, and yeah, I'll see you when we're taking the pre-workout, but uh, yeah, it's been a great day. Oh. All right guys, so gonna be real with you. It's actually the next day. A um, few things happened last night. Um, I had loads of inquiries on the plan and the launch. I had to just get back to quite a few. Um, our workout was really short, really intense because Domi had to come back and do work as well. So it was kind of all in the air. Didn't really have time to film uh, and to top it off, my memory card had no more space. So kind of backfired, but I thought I'd just continue the vlog today. Uh, it's currently lunchtime, or it's quarter past one. Quarter past one already, wow. Um, just been re responding to emails all morning, really, really um, low key, but you can probably hear my laptop. Sounds like it's gonna explode, I'm just exporting a workout for Instagram. Um, I definitely need a new one. But again, the launch was really good. I just wanna say thank you to all your guys who bought off planned, it really means a lot to me. Can't wait to see everyone's results. But we are going to take some pre-workout now and go train push. Big push day. Uh, I'll take you along with me. We're going to take stimulants this time. Maybe the rest of the energy drink. I'm feeling a bit tired and lethargic. Yesterday was really intense. Hit a uh, quite heavy deadlift on, I think I hit 210 for six. Uh, yeah, it was 210 for six. And um, honestly, I just the bars of that gym, like it's no deadlift bar. These are like stiff like pure gym shit bars but anyway let's uh take some pre-workout let's get this going we're uh, five days out from america i can't wait it's gonna be amazing and let's take you let's go on an adventure let's train all right so the pre-workout today i thought i'd make a combination of things <laughs> um got the energy drink and some old pre-workouts and glutamine that we had in our cupboard so what i'm gonna do is that's how you probably open it, by the way. I reckon half, let's all weigh this out, let's weigh this out. All right. We ready? Might need to add some water to this. Ready? Oh, whee! Yeah, I'm gonna have some water. It's like, definitely gonna need to dilute this, but this is raw. Oh God, Woo! jaw tingle straight away. Right, let's, uh, let's stop. No, not Alexa, um, let's get to the gym. All right guys, a little update. Just got to the gym, drank all the pre-workout and I have, I am losing my shit. That's too much caffeine. Feel great though. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a great workout. Anyway, let's do it, let's do it. So as you could tell, I was pretty energized in that last clip and it definitely transferred into this workout. Um, everything was supersetted, did drop sets, uh, some giant sets, it was pretty intense. So what I did was a flat dumbbell bench press, uh, six to eight reps, going fairly heavy and trying to really, really squeeze that chest at the top. Um, and then I superset it with, with barbell upright rows. You might be thinking that's an odd combination, but honestly, these two together I find really, really good. Um, and barbell rows, if done correctly, you're not swinging, you're not jolting, you're not bringing your, the bar like to your chin and you do lifting with your elbows is a very effective shoulder and trap exercise and you won't cause any injuries. Um, next superset was incline barbell bench press. Um, I was trying to keep the tension as much as I could on my chest here, like pausing at the bottom of the rep and really trying to engage the squeeze as I came up. I don't tend to go too heavy on incline bench press just because um, of the risk of injuries, especially when you don't have a spotter. Um, so I think this was 90 kilos or 80. Anyway, I was trying to get 10 reps and really focusing on that negative. As you can see, I was starting to struggle and I shake a little bit, which I shouldn't have done, but I just wanted to get the bar up. So this last rep, there you go. Well, that was a that was a big push, and then I superseded it with dumbbell side laterals. And with these side laterals, what I did was a drop set. So after each set, I did like twelve to fifteen reps. I dropped the weight. Uh, I think it was to ten kilos, and I did another ten to fifteen reps. Uh, and this definitely gave me a very very good pump. Now into the next superset, uh, what I did was machine shoulder press. 
Um, you can actually see this sweat in my legs there. When I train, I just sweat so much, it's actually ridiculous. Um, so what I was doing was five together and then five, um, sorry, five singles and then five together. And it was a real struggle, but we managed to get it done. And then I superseted it with weighted press-ups. Now, I didn't film the rest of the exercises because it got pretty busy. I couldn't put my camera anywhere. But I finished with cable flies into rear delt cable flies. And I finished on dips for three sets to failure. Um, and that was a pretty good workout. Um, not my best, but still very good. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next clip and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, I'm back home. Uh, that was an amazing workout. I had so much energy from that pre-workout, so I just superseted everything. Um, really pushed hard. Um, finished on some actual cable flies and then cable side laterals as a superset as like a little isolation. I did a lot of compounds. Um, uh, but I didn't film it as it got a little bit busy. Uh, so I came home. Had two Warburton's uh, cinnamon and raisin thins with some jam on and a protein shake. And now I'm gonna make some dinner for me and Domi. I'm gonna make Buddha bowls with some prawns, uh, couscous, and just lots of veg. Um, I'll show you the end result, but I am gonna end the vlog here. Um, it's been a really, really busy uh, week. And we've got more work to do on this weekend in regards to content. Domi's got loads of stuff to shoot. I've got workouts to film. And we'll probably be vlogging again some more. So, um, hope you like this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, balls.